Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter three is age classifier. Okay, so write a program that asks the user to enter a person's age. The program should display a message indicating whether the person is an infant, a child, a teenager, or an adult. The following are the guidelines. Okay, so if the person is one year old or less, he or she is an infant. If the person is one is if the person is older than one year but younger than thirteen years, he or she is a child. If the person is at least thirteen years old but less than twenty years old, he or she is an, is a teenager. If the person is at least twenty years old, he or she is an adult. Okay, so we are going to ask the user to to type in um, an age. Okay. And then based on what the user types, we're going to test for these conditions using if else, um, if, um, if, elif, and else statement. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, so first let's go ahead and um, ask the user to enter an age. Okay, so so let's do that. We're going to do that with the input function, and we're going to ask, ask the user to enter an age and just say, please enter. Um, your age okay so the user is going to enter the age but remember um or know that anytime anything the uh, input function returns okay is a string the user returns anything that the user types over here as a string so even if the user types in six as the age six is going to return as six all right but it's going to return as as a string okay six as a string but we can't use strings in calculations we can't use we can't really test on on that you can't really use strings we, we actually want a number okay unless we, unless maybe we we did we needed a string but we don't need a string we need a number so we have to go ahead and convert whatever the user has typed here which has been returned as a string to uh, a number in this case an integer so it's in order to convert that whole um, input that the user just um, um, typed we, we in order to convert that to an integer we need to um, surround it we, we call the input fun uh, sorry the int function and surround everything that the user typed with parentheses. So it's going to be the int function and surround everything that the user typed with parentheses. Okay, so now we're going to have the user's age converted to an integer. So now once we convert it to an in integer, we need a place to store it. We need a variable to store it in. So let's go ahead and create a variable and call it age. We can even say user age. And user age is going to store the user's age. So now let's go ahead and, and create an if statement or if lf else statement and test on this condition so let's test on the first one the first one says if the person is one year old or less he or she is an infant okay one year old or less so that means that <coughs> if the person is one year old or less let's see yeah so one year old or less he or she is an infant so one year old or less means that anything less than or equal to one okay less than or equal to one that means the person is in, um, an infant. So I have the question here. Let me just make sure. That's that was what. Uh, oh, this is going to flow. The question is right here. Okay. So yeah, the person is one year old or less. Okay. All right. So one year old or less. Then that means the person is, uh, is an infant. So let's. That means anything less than or equal to one. Okay. So let's let's see. Let's let's try this and see. Oh, let's <coughs> let's let's create this. All right. So. It's going to work. One year old or less means less than or equal to um, one. So it's going to work. So let's let's do that. All right. So if user age okay is less than or equal to one, okay, then we want to print a statement and say that the or let's just say you are an infant. Okay, you are an infant. <coughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, I am, um, I'm, I'm, finding, I'm finding it hard to uh, imagine an infant actually typing this in the program and, and seeing you are an infant. Maybe maybe the, the parent is going to type it. I don't know. Um, but for now, I'm just going to say you are an infant. <laughs> All right. But you can modify your program. You can modify the string statement however you want. Okay. So that's, that's the case when the person's uh, age is less than or equal to one. Okay. So the next one is this. So think about it. If the person is not less than or equal to one, then that means that that means that the person is 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 older than older than one, right? I mean, older than one because it's not one or less. It's that means it's, it's that means the person is at, um, at least two and above, right? And the second one says this: if the person is older than one year 
but younger than 13 years, he or she's a child. So older than one year. So, so if you're not less than or equal to one, you're older than one. So that means two and above. So if the person is older than one, so in the first place, in the first place, if you're not less than or equal to one, then that means you are above above one. So over here we, we have if the person is older than one but younger than thirteen years, okay, he or she is is a, is a child. So if you're not less than or equal to one, then you are two and above. Okay, so for all the numbers two and above, let me let me go ahead and create an LF statement here. User age. Okay, so for all the numbers um, over 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 one, of all the numbers two and above, we don't want all the numbers two and above. We want the numbers two and above, but at the same time, over here, younger than thirteen, less than thirteen. So, LF user age is less than thirteen, because if you are not less than or equal to one, then that means you are two and above. And for all the numbers two and above, we want the ones also less than thirteen. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'll, I'll copy this statement and I'll print it here yeah, and just change it. So if you are less than 13, in that case, then you are, he or she is a, t uh, a child, okay? So you are a child, okay? So if you are not less than or equal to one, then you are two and above here. But for all the numbers two and above, we want the ones also, we want the numbers two and above about the ones less than 13. Okay, so because it says about younger than 13. Okay, so if you are not younger than 13, then that means you are <clears throat> 13 and above. Okay, that means you are, um, you are 13 years and above. And, and the next one says this. If you are at least 13 years old, but less than 20 years old. Okay, so that means 13 to 19. Okay, if you are at, if you are at least 13 years old, but less than 20 years old. So we know that if you are not less than 13, then you are at least you are 13 and above. So for all the numbers 13 and above, so let me go to create, create an LF statement. Oops, I'm sorry. LF user age. Let's space this out nicely. Okay, so if we know that if you are not less than 13, then you are 13 and above. So for all the numbers 13 and above, we want the ones less than 20. Okay, so if the person is at least 13 years old, okay, but less than 20, which is this, okay, less than 20. If you're not 13, if you're not 13 and below, you are, uh, sorry, if you're not less than 13, then you are 13 and above. And for all the numbers 13 and above, we want the ones less than 20. And that's what's going to satisfy this LF statement. So if that's the case, then let's print, you are uh, a teenager. Okay, and so if you're not less than or equal to 1, if you're not less than 13, if you're not less than 20, then that means you are 20 and above, okay? No matter what, you're 20 and above. <coughs> so we can end this with, a, with an else statement because the last bullets or last um, question says if the person, <coughs> sorry about that. The last question says if the person is at least 20 years old, he or she is an adult, okay? So if you're not less than 20, then you are 20 and above. So if the person is at least 20 years old, he, he or she is an adult. So 20 years, um, as at least at least 20 years old is, is the same as 20 and above, okay? So we can just say else. We can just end it, end it with an else because if you're not less than or equal to one, if you're not less than 13, if you're not less than 20, then that means you are 20 and above. Your age is 20 and above. So we can just say an else and then, and then, then print a statement. But, or we can actually be, be um, explicit and say LF, LF if you want. You can say LF um, user age, okay, is user age is greater than or equal to 20. You can do that. You can say if, if user age is greater than or equal to 20. Oops, uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, greater than or equal to 20. Yep, so you can do that, that's correct. If user age is greater than or equal to 20, that means 20 and above, then say you are an adult. But like I said, we, you can either do this um, explicitly or we can, or if you, if you just write an else statement, the program will, 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 know, um, or will know and execute the program implicitly. Okay, so 
I'm going to create an else statement and I'm going to say print. Or in other words, you know, let's be let's be let's be explicit and do it. You, well, we, you know, let's be explicit so that so that it's clear. So that it's clear. So like I said, you can write an else state, else statement and 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 then it will work. But let, let, let's I was thinking about it. Let me let me let me be explicit and say. If you're not less than or uh, less than 20 years old, then that means you're 20 and above. So if LF user age is greater than or equal to 20, then let's print. Um, then let's print. You are an adult. Okay, so it's the same thing as this part is the same thing as saying else because none of these conditions satisfied. So, so it's the same as else, like, like I explained. Okay, so we but we can also go ahead and and be explicit and say if user age is greater than or equal to twenty, then then you are an adult. So this both will work. Okay, so now we are done. So now let's go ahead and test this program and see what happens. So first, I need to I need to save it. So I'm going to save it in the folder the folder that I keep all the <coughs> I'll save it in the folder that I keep all the Python files. Next up. And I'll create a new folder for this for this question. So it's going to be age classifier. <coughs> and I'll call this age classifier.py. Okay, so let's wait for it. Okay, we have an error. Let's see. Oh, it's missing a colon here. A syntax error. It's missing a colon, so I'm just take this back. It's missing a colon here. I see everyone, each, each one of these has a colon, so I'm just going to go ahead and type my colon and run it again. Okay, so please enter. <coughs> please enter your age. I'm going to enter one. I'm, not much, I'm, not, I'm actually going to enter. Uh, yeah, I'm going to enter one and see what happens. And it says you are an infant. Okay, so before I print this, these things, let me just put line breaks right in front of it so that before it prints the statement we see like we see like a clear difference between the question and answer or oh, the question and response um, yeah so a new line character is the backslash n and that will create like a line it will, t it will break it will create us an empty line before your text okay so it will create an empty line and then your text will follow follow that empty line. Okay, and and together both of these together the backslash n together, no space is the new line character. Okay, so I'm going to run this one more time. Hit one, and now it says you are an infant. Let's try something else. It said. Um, so if the person is one year old or less, he or she is an infant. <coughs> We've done that. If the person is older than one year, yes, uh, so one year, but younger than thirteen, he or she is an, is a child. So I'm going to enter ten and expect to see a child. So ten, and it says you 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 are. I, I type you are a child. Uh, you can change this. You can change it. Okay, so let let's test the next one. Okay, so next one is if the person is at least thirteen years old, but less than twenty years old, he or she is a teenager. So let me try something. Is it thirteen but less than twenty? I'm going to try seventeen. <coughs> and I should expect to see teenagers. So I hit enter and it says you are a teenager. And I'm going to try the last one which says if the person is at least twenty years old, he or she is an is an adult. So I'm going to enter twenty seven and hit enter. Actually yeah twenty six and hit enter and it says you're an adult. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, so uh, uh, all the conditions work. Well, uh, twenty six is my age, by the way. Uh, twenty six is my age. Um, so that's why I had to put it there. So it says I'm a, I'm an adult, and that's true. I'm a, I'm an adult. So, <laughs> all right. So we're done. Uh, it works. We're done. If you have any questions, please comment down. In the comment section um, and I'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching um, take care of yourselves have a great day have a great night great sleep have a good time and I'll see you next time with the next program bye bye